you know, Americans have been complaining now for decades about jobs leaving the United States and, and moving offshore. And, and certainly customer service wasn't the first industry to have that happen to it. Back in the 70s, steel went offshore. In the 80s, manufacturing and textiles went offshore and automobiles. Um, and I think it's just kind of happened to America. What I think is really neat about the Alpine Access business model is we've found a new way for Americans to be competitive again in the world marketplace. Who would have ever thought that um, because of the way the economics are and because of the quality of our service that we'd be actually getting called from places like Canada that jobs have been going to for 20 years in customer service. Um, that companies now after experimenting with offshore in places like India, Philippines and Poland um, want to bring those jobs back because they've come to realize their customers really enjoy talking to people who understand their culture, their dialect, uh, the nuances of where they live. Um, and you can't do that from halfway around the world. So I don't know if it's patriotic, but it certainly feels good. And I think it's one of the reasons why Alpine Access gets so much incredible media attention and press. I mean, for a uh, mid-sized company, you know, we've been on NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. We've been on Good Morning America multiple times. We've been in the Wall Street Journal and Business Week. You know, last year alone, I think we were in 200 different major magazines, uh, newspapers, or television shows. Um, we're not a $100 billion enterprise. You know, we're Alpine Axis, but the media is attracted to it because it's a feel-good story. And um, I guess I'm attracted to it because, once again, I think it's a way for Americans to show how nimble we are uh, as it relates to being competitive in the global marketplace.